All right, so keys to victory. Connor Hughes needs to do what he does best, control the center and wrestle with his top game. Sebastian Santana Guedes has got to use that height and reach advantage, but that is transferable to chokes on the ground as well. But he's got to stay disciplined. If he gets reckless, he might get caught. Andy Shepard, take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, the following fight takes place in the lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is an MMA specialist and stands six feet tall. He went in officially at 154 and one half pounds. In 18 professional bouts, has built a record of 10 wins, six losses, one draw, and a single no contest. Fighting out of Gran Canaria, Spain, Sivas, Sebastian Santana Guedes! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He's a striking specialist and stands 5 feet 11 inches tall. He went in officially at 155 and 1 quarter pounds and has built a record of 7 victories and 1 defeat. Fighting out of Liverpool, England. Connor Hughes! Your referee and judge, Dan Moverheady. Judge. Judge. Green trunks judge. for Hughes. Top keep up. Gray for Sebastian Santana Wittes. All right, round number one. Ready, ready. England ah, versus Spain in this showcase bout at 155 pounds. Hughes taps a low kick to start the action. And another. I think this style, stand-up striking style from Santana Guedes is going to be way more in favor of Conor Hughes' style. Instead of the style Dylan Hughes, uh, Dylan Tug used in Berlin, where he was on the move all the time, you already see Santana Guedes staying toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And Dan, you talked about the potential recklessness. That's it hasn't been a lack of skill or talent for Wedes. It's been some mental errors in fights and being maybe taking unnecessary risks. He doesn't want to do that here. Eats a head kick on Hughes. That's him. Hughes now attacking and Wedes trying to grab a hold of the takedown, get himself out of some trouble. Nice power half here on the sprawl from Connor Hughes. Forcing that head down for Sebastian Santana Guedes. Now you really need to do that against Santana Guedes because with the long arms, if you don't push that head down all the way, you can still lock his hands like he does now. He's going for the single, but he ends up, ends up on his back. Going for the deep half here, trying to get a sweep. Failed on the takedown, but still tried to drag this fight to the floor. Good frame by Hughes here. Now San Santana Guedes, he closes the guard. Got to get himself up that cage or away from it. Don't want to be smashed up against the barrier. Yeah, he doesn't mind having people in his guard, but up against the fence, he doesn't really have space to set up submissions. So I think that's why Connor Hughes stays here. Trying to spin, going for a leg. Hughes keeps his leg out of trouble temporarily. Dan Hardy, what does Sebastian Santana Guedes need to do? Well, he's attacking the leg at the moment, but Connor Hughes has read it very well and he's triangled it. You can see the legs, you can see the legs wrapped here. He's trying to control that because that's if he can release that triangle, then Hughes can, then Hughes is gonna find his leg in danger. Guedes is trying to attack those legs, but you can see how he's he's sprawling his body out. This is the leg that's in danger. That's the one that Guedes is trying to pull back in, looking for knee bars, looking for heel hooks. Trying to get a hold of that other leg of use. You can also sweep with this, but it's very difficult. He's got a hold of the leg. He's got it out of the knee, though. If he can create some space, he can get to work with the leg lock. Hughes is doing a good job holding on to his head, staying close, throwing some strikes. Got a good grip on that foot, though. He must feel confident that he's going to be able to get it because it's forcing Hughes to defend as opposed to attack. That means you know that it's, it's a danger to him. He's got a figure four. He doesn't have it 
the way you want to have it, but if he can roll, then he can. I see him trying to toe fold this here, but Hughes trying to stay heavy. Now he's locking his hands and let go of it, but Hughes offering some body punches just to distract Sebastian Santana Wedes from this attack on his own right leg. Use his position, gentlemen. Use is not taking any risks with it. He's trying to keep as much weight on that leg as he can, so Sebastian can't roll him over to the other side, over to the Twins logo, and start to attack that leg isolated. Good work by Connor Hughes being defensive here, but he's got to get that leg free. He use his position, gentlemen. And normally you would frame here and throw strikes, but he's holding on to Santana Guedes. I mean, you can see the odd angle that it's putting Connor Hughes' knee at. He's not in danger of a submission here, but finally gets that leg back. And stands up right back on the attack. Sebastian Santana Guedes shelling up. The referee looking on closely. Trying to get a hold of the arms of Hughes. Good down and pound here. Right hand from Hughes getting work in. Guedes covering up, working back to guard. Still defending himself. Good job, but Guedes getting back to a safe position. Got to be careful of this arm as he's kicking his hips out here. Yeah, he can use the fence. Final few seconds of the round. Connor Hughes. Stands up out of the guard in the attack on that arm bar. We'll head to round two. Round number two. Buddy, it, buddy. Trying to keep it safe. That takes a lot out of your muscles. Hughes in the green. Sebastian Santana Guedes in the gray. Immediate shot from Santana Guedes. Connor Hughes once again. Hands out the glove, Sebastian. With his right hand on top. Guedes going for the leg again. Go right back. Get right away. Good work by Connor Hughes. You can see that right foot is hooked. It was hooked on the outside of the leg, which was slowing the leg attack down. Back to the feet where Connor Hughes is going to want this fight now. He's landed the big shot. Yeah, good decision to, to get back to his feet, as we saw in the first round. Guedes doesn't mind being on his back, but why let him be on the ground? Just let him fight your fight. Nice shot to the body there. Barely missed with a right. I like the patience from Hughes. Sebastian Santana Guedes keeps switching feet, giving Connor Hughes a different look, confounding some of that offense that we saw the aggression early. I also think there's some damage on that left leg for uh, Guedes as well, which is potentially giving him a little problem with his movement. Nice work by Connor Hughes to go high with the kick. Connor Hughes is trying to set up that right hand. I'd like to see him keep that left hand in Santana Guedes' face more. Good, Good level change. Nice. nice timing under the hook for Sebastian Santana Guedes. But look at that sprawl. Hughes used the whizzer and just punished the attempt there from Sebastian Santana Guedes. Ends up on top in the guard. He's controlling the wrist, though. And as we know, Guedes doesn't mind being here. Hughes is doing a good job posturing up, though. Framing on the hips of Santana Guedes. So he doesn't really get the opportunity to get his legs involved. Good shots there by Connor Hughes. He's got to be careful now. Santana Guedes is trying to outbalance him here, controlling the wrists and getting his legs and hips involved. But good decision again by Hughes to get back to his feet. Guedes using a lot of strength in those positions as well. That that does run out after a while, especially with Connor Hughes being in top position, using strong wrestling for defense. What he should do more, Guedes, keep that left hand and kind of use his face. Nice right hand, left hook combination from Hughes. Goes back to work on the lead leg. 
you can you can see the damage just below the knee on the left leg of Santana Guedes. He keeps switching his stance, but I just don't think he's as comfortable southpaw. So he keeps having to switch back, and then the, the lead leg is there to be punished. Yeah, then he gets chewed up again. Oh, his left kick again. He's so quick with it. Connor Hughes showing why he was undefeated heading into his last bout. Switched the stance and a big left there as well. Another good low kick there. Yeah. His left leg is, is chewed up by Connor Hughes. I think that if Connor Hughes steps in a little deeper with her right hand, he's able to connect. It was a good low single attempt there from Sebastian Santana Huedes, but negated by Connor Hughes. And now another leg attack attempt. Looks like he's going to try and go for that knee bar if he can extend the leg. He's going back to that figure four toe hold. Can he create space? Can he roll with it? You can see Connor using his left leg to hook over the grip, try and control that foot from being extended. It's really difficult to prepare for a fighter like Santana Guedes with his unorthodox style of grappling. Oh, this is getting closer here. Sebastian Santana Guedes just dogged in the pursuit of this leg lock. Forcing Connor Hughes to be defensive yet again at the end of round two. That shot hurt. Yeah, back to the yeah. corner as we go. Oh yeah, look at that. A grimace from Sebastian Santana Guedes and the That's referee it. waves off the fight. That's a win for Connor Hughes with the body shot. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mubahedi calls a halt to the action at five minutes of round number two, declaring your winner via TKO, Connor Hughes!